Introducing the latest new derailleur from LTWU, the LTWU TX. In this video, we're gonna be diving into the components of this rear derailleur and how it compares against its competition. Now, what sets the LTWU TX apart? This is LTWU's first attempt at producing a mountain bike rear der derailleur with a clutch. But what exactly is a clutch and why does it matter? A derailleur has two roles. One, shift the gears, and two, keep the chain tensioned. The clutch plays a vital role in keeping the chain tensioned. Let's dive into the nitty gritty of this component. When we shift gears, the chain needs to adapt to different sizes. This task is handled by a spring in the derailleur cage. However, relying solely on the spring can cause the chain to jostle under quick forces, like going over rocks and roots or landing on jumps. Enter the clutch. The clutch is a mechanical component designed to keep the chain tensioned under sudden forces. In slow motion footage comparing the LTWU A12 and the LTWU TX, you'll notice that the A12's chain jumps around quite a bit more because it doesn't have a clutch. The clutch not only keeps the chain tension, but it is a much quieter ride. Take a look at these two clips, one of the A12 and one of the TX. Notice how the A12 is significantly louder. Now that we understand what a clutch is, let's dive into the performance of the LTWU TX. So far it has been nothing short of impressive, effortlessly handling every aspect of shifting. To smooth gear shifts and keeping the chain tensioned, the LTWU TX has exceeded my expectations. Plus, at just $70 for a shifter and a rear derailleur, it's an absolute steal. But how does it stack up to the competition? I've been a huge fan of SRAM GX for a long time, but a SRAM GX shifter and derailleur is $140. I don't think that the SRAM GX is $70 better than a LTWU TX. And it comes in, it's 13 grams heavier. I know that's not a ton, but it definitely makes you wonder, what am I paying for here? I know that the reliability of the TX is untested and that's definitely worth something because the SRAM GX is. However, if you can buy two, you know, for the same price, you know, you could get plenty of mileage out of it. My only concerns with the TX lie in the ergonomics. The thumb shifter is quite a bit lower and it causes strain on your thumb after a couple hours of riding. Along with that, the shifter is really, really smooth. So when you're wearing gloves, it's very, very slippery and you can't really sometimes get a good shift. Additionally, the reliability of the LTWU TX remains untested, but rest assured, I'll circle back with my findings. 